so young, c'est la vie que le symbole de la liberté. Il est né sur le bord du fleuve Mississippi. Tom Sawyer, c'est pour nous tous un ami. De la fin, un mimo, flower, a looking at a cake, the she be my powder. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Fire Force episode 23, Smile. Last episode, there was an amazing fight between Shinra and Sho. And uh, Sho explained what his power is and he's like, he's, he's stealing heat from the expansion of the universe and then uh, stopping time. And then you have Shinra going past the speed of light, rever reversing time. Go past the speed of light, I think he like um, dies and then time reverses and all that. So, and then we finally saw the evangelist. He's in their hell world or something. And that's where the Adola burst flame came from. And it's affecting everything on their earth on in Tokyo. Uh, I still don't quite understand what their goal is or whatever. But yeah, we saw the evangelist. And... Uh, since Sho had a connection with the evangelist, he received his grace, I believe, from the evangelist, and that's why he's so strong. Sho also like linked with I know Shira linked with Sho so that he also can tap into the graces of the evangelist or whatever. <sighs> What's gonna happen with the title being smile? I'm thinking either um Shira's smile is gonna affect show like bring him back to his senses or something or you know how Shira's is usually his smile is hiding some kind of nervousness or something maybe he's gonna like have a an actual smile that's not about all that I don't know but we'll see so let's go Raffles Raffles He's dead. Some reverses. Cause you're his brother, man. Is that what is that? Yeah. Show him shut. Shut up. Back to the time. What is it? Time traveling. Oh, this is when um, the Joker came and talked to him about his brother being close or whatever. You just want your brother back? Oh yeah, we still don't know who did that though. Your face is still scary. Yes, you are. Who was the other one? Babies are so cute. Feel it. Feel the love. <laughs> he finally accepted it. Oh, but I don't think the 
I hope the images are not gonna mess him up. Oh. Are you freaking kidding me? I felt like it was too good to be true. I thought I recognized her. I was like, what do I show in show? Like, baby show with the evangelist, and then they showed the little kid. Trying to save yourself like you always do. My okay. Can you not do something? Because we need to know. Mm -hmm. She's probably stronger than him, right? Is she controlling him? Don't just stand there. <sighs> Hi. Hi, guys. Okay. Stop them. Stop them. Yee! He's too stupid. He's too stupid for it to work. Yay. <laughs> oh. And I thought it was his stupidness. His stupidity. Oh my gosh. Oh, I get excited for that. What the freak? Ooh, 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 captain, captain, captain. <laughs> Is she doing ballet? Oh, go after show. Don't let him leave your show. You got him back, don't you worry. And the store is still in there. Who? Oh. Second generation. It's a cop. Oh, I didn't even see what. Are they in a fire force squad? What company they are? He's strong. Road of Asclepius. What kind of ability is that? <laughs> yeah, best to licked. Girl, you need to get out of your... Funk. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I don't trust that nurse or whatever.
He's probably part of the white clad. She. first are you finally gonna tell us why you were there that night mm-hmm talk I'm getting some answers oh he's been wanting rice I've never had those rice cakes, I think they're called. Never had it. You didn't do anything? He would have surely died. He just woke up from the hospital, man. Like, really? I felt like this episode went by way too fast. Like I was not expecting it to end there. Like, I was like expecting more, but I guess not. I'm glad we got some answers this episode because I'm like, ever since this introduced the evangelists and the white cloud organization, I'm like, what the heck is their goal? Like, what are they trying to accomplish? I knew it was gonna be some kind of, I thought it was gonna be some kind of world destruction, world domination stuff, and. That is it, because that's what that girl said, Haumea. She said that they were using the bugs to create those infernos so that they can find people with Adola Burst. And they need those flames to reset the world, like, to destroy it, basically. Like, it happened 250 years ago. My point is, why are they trying to do that? Okay, what happens after you destroy the world and then what? That's my thing when it comes to like any shows that there's like an evil organization that wants to destroy the world and I'm like, why? You destroy it and then what? Like, what are you gonna gain out of it? You know, I never get it. But I guess that's what they're trying to do. I still don't know. I have like me after they destroy everything. What are they gonna do? Like, people are gonna die, right? Probably the whole population. And after that, what? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But that's their goal. And I love... That Shinra was able to, like... Impart his memories, his feelings onto the show. Make him see how they were close. When they were, like, little kids with their mom and all that. And then, that, like, the, the metaphor of him... You know when he was a baby like crying and he had the newspaper on his face so he was like in darkness and what he wanted was to see the light and then you compare that with Shinra telling him that he's been in darkness you know when he's associated with the evangelist and now that he's here he's a, he has brought him into the light and then he calls Shinra his brother like he finally acknowledges the the bond between them and all that and then when that sword pierced Shinra I'm like my first thought was that maybe the evangelist has some kind of I don't know hip hypnosis he like he still has some kind of hold over him and that even though show like realized their bond as brothers he was not able to stop himself when when it came to stabbing Shinra but no it turns out that because Shinra like he went like you know super speed thing and then he sort of dis he did sort of that right like he usually does when he does that and then he parted the memories like he was way too fast and he just like show had his sword right so he just 
yeah he got screwed by it and yeah then that girl was like using her power because she wanted some answers from the fire from 12 years ago and she just used her powers and sort of like made sure just start walking and go to the avenger or something like she controlling him and i believe that's what she does like she uses her powers to sort of affect your nerves and make you sort of like do what she wants you to do or something so when she... arthur and the others came and he was working on the others but then when he came to Arthur and it didn't work and I'm like it's, it's because he's stupid but no because <laughs> they had uh, um they have emphasized his stupidity in this anime so much so I'm like when it didn't work on him you know how usually in those kind of situations in animes it's because the guy is stupid and that's why the power of persuasion or whatever didn't work on him but no it's because of his firepower the plasma thing that's what was blocking everything i love that and then with when she had the sword still in him and then he was just coughing blood and i'm like that should like kill you right you should be dead but he's the main character of the show so he's not gonna die so how and they took show away how and the yona and the uh, show like the left right and then they took Shinra to this this captain of the six Huang Captain Huang and apparently her power is to use some kind of serpent fire thing and use it on you and that serpent is gonna use your own flame to sort of heal you I don't know how that actually worked but it worked Shinra is fine and he wakes up three days later I believe and he was hungry and then the captain of the first came and then that's when they had the conversation I'm like when they was it in episode three i don't know when they were about to do that fire soldier game thing and then the captain and shira like came face to face and shira recognized him and then he asked them like were you there when the were you the captain that was there the fire soldier that was there when my house was burned 12 years ago and he, he's like no i don't know what i don't know if he said no but like he made it seem like he he was not the one that was there i'm like you know this guy knows something and yeah, he knows that he knew that she was alive. And he didn't say anything. And when Shira asked him like why, and he's like, Okay, right now you're more than how old was he? Twelve years ago? I don't know. But right now he's older, right? He's twelve years older. So even with that, when he faced the White Cloud organization, like he came out, he almost died. So he's like, if I had told you then he would have tried to go get his brother and he would have probably died at that one point so i'm guessing that's why he didn't say anything but i feel like that excuse was weak sort of and then he's like fight me i'm like yo the guy just woke up he almost died they healed him he woke up three days later he just ate and then you're like let's fight i'm like yo <laughs> uh i don't know about that but I'm glad we got some answers, but I feel like there are still some missing pieces. Or is that all the answers that we need? No. Oh yeah, and then there's the earthquake that's happening. Like, what is that? What's the goal of the earthquakes? Is it still in order to destroy everything? Or not? I don't know. I'm glad we got some answers. I'm glad Sho came back to his senses. Uh, I was upset when that girl took him away like with her powers and all that but yeah can't wait to see oh next episode is the last episode right of the uh, season this is oh, it's not gonna be on this season or I don't know but last episode is the last episode next episode <sighs> next episode is the final episode of this season right so I don't know what kind of how that's gonna be are they gonna be facing the evangelists or not like, are they gonna destroy the world or not like what we still don't know what the joker is after and victor the joker and victor like who are they working for what are they after we still don't know that 
there are still some answers, uh, some questions that need answers. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you on Saturday for my reaction too. And and no show would I episode 24 and if you want to see that reaction right now you can do so by checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash and you can also see the full length of this reaction there as well now thanks for watching and i will see you on saturday bye